Hello friends and welcome again to another Echocalypse video! Now, another unit have been added to the game and one uh, unit that is I'm hyped for very very much and it's a support unit for the Empire class and this unit is none other than the cute Dorothy. Now Dorothy is an insane support, she's a support class, she's an absolute amazing support she's a buffer she's a shielder and she's a damage dealer and enables your entire team i recommend highly to build her or at least to get one copy of her and we'll be talking about her and why she's that good first of all she's an empire her artifice so she gains dodge she gains damage reduction block block strength pierce crit resistance and damage reduction all of that will help her survive even more on the lineup if you build her more the stars more and more she will be very much tanky that she can survive and she's a unit that she needs to be tanky and in the same time she needs to be attacking high or you need her attack high so you can she's flexible you can build her on both on attack set and on hp set we'll be talking about this when we explain her skills her links go with beam with niz with camilla camilla and with kiki and of course uh, with curry if you get curry the new unit that will be dropped so she can again hp by 18% she's gonna get armor by 18% she's gonna increase her HP by 25% which is absolutely crazy for her and her attack by 18 if you have Kuri or you pull for her so let's talk about her and uh, talk about her skills first of all her passives when you get her to one star four star and six stars she's gonna get again resistance resistance is versus magical damage so magical damage will not hurt her as much and she improve it by 10% magical damage against uh, uh resistance against magical damage of course to her and for the lineup as well and in the end she gains 10 percent hp if you get her to six stars which will help her and buff her with the true damage functionality which we will talk about so first of all her first skill which is the normal skill so dorothy is going to captivate the audience deals 64 percent magical damage to three random enemies so it means you can play her whenever wherever you want on the lineup she doesn't have restrictions on the lineup except one we'll be talking about that soon in the other skills so and when you get her to uh to uh two stars the two stars here where she becomes a little bit active and becomes a little bit more like vv my like audrey and uh like other units that gives r restores rage so uh she deals 70 percent that magical damage to three random enemy and restores one rage to a random ally excluding herself on the same row you need them on the same row so the three units that are on the same row she will buff one unit 100 percent restores one rage she will restore one rage no matter what but not for herself so two other units one of them will be restoring rage and if you get her to four stars it will be two restoring uh, rage which will allow them to go back to back with ultimates if you have more restoring energy units her ultimate let's talk about her ultimate so hype the audience to them uh to them uh, climax because she's a singer so she sings so it's called highlight dorothy singing inspires or all, uh, all allies for two rounds inspire so we'll be talking about inspiration soon inspire active attacks deals extra true damage equal to 72 percent of dorothy attack active attacks it means any type of attack that you're gonna hit with your uh, lineup will deal 72 percent of her attack to the, the uh, to the enemies by true damage which is an absolutely game changer so right now we can play a full support team now of course you can play a carry and i'll be talking which carry is the best with her and it will inflict more damage but if you play full supports the supports when they deal damage according to her attack if you build her on attack they will deal 72 percent more attack uh, more damage as uh true damage to the enemies this effect clears after activating two times so she needs to ultimate again so you can get this bonus inspire again so if we get her to three stars at three stars randomly grant one ally brilliant idea for one round now brilliant idea active uh, active attacks have 20 percent chance to require no rage what does that mean it means they can ultimate even if they have zero rage it's it's a small it's a 20 percent chance this active uh, effect uh, clears after activation one time so it means if you do, do this uh, step if you activate uh, the brilliant idea one time it will get removed so you need to get it again on your uh, lineup which is an absolute insane uh, functionality actually so this is why you need to build her up uh, on attack and play her for attacking purposes now i'll talk about why you need to build her on hp if you want to play defensive wise on attack if you want to play your team full attack comp that deals more damage now at seven stars 
Let's talk about uh, the seven stars. So the brilliant gets 50%, which is absolutely crazy. And she gains support. Now the support is converts 50% of HP loss into a shield. This effect clears after two times. So she's gonna get shields as well. And she will be more protective if the, uh, uh, converts 50% of the HP loss. So whatever is the HP. So let's say you've lost 1000 HP, 50% of it, which is 500, will be converted into a shield, which should give you back a return for your HP if you want to think about it, which is absolutely crazy. This effect clears after activating two times. So after two times, or uh, this one will clear and you can repeat it with repeating the ultimate. Very nice, very solid so far. One of the best skills this ultimate because of the true damage that adds to the uh, to the uh, to your lineup. If you're playing supports now, you can play Levia, you can play her, buff her with Levia and get her attack even more and higher. So the 72% will make an impact with your lineup, and the others will hit even more, including herself, of course. Now her passive. When Ally Case releases a skill, Dorothy collects inspiration from them, accumulating up to 6 points. So whenever they release skills, it means their, pa their, pa uh, their ultimates, not any uh, type of skill, not the attack, but a, a skill, which means the skill here, is, if you see the S on this, it means the skill, it means the ultimate. So if they uh, attack or use the ultimate, she accumulate up to 6 points, up to 6 points, it might be less. So gain and Dorothy gains one inspiration at the start of the battle. Every battle she gains one inspiration. It means you're gonna inspire somebody at the start. She gets one inspiration on herself as well. Each inspiration gained increase ally damage reduction by 3% for three rounds and provides a shield equal to 3% of Dorothy's max HP. Here where we talk about max HP for defensive purposes. If you wanna build her for more defensive purpose and you want to survive even more on your lineup, you need to stack her on the gear with a HP set. So she's gonna get a damage reduction by 3% for 3 rounds. It doesn't say it stacks. It does not say it does not stack. So I bet it could stack up to some level. Ah, the damage reduction can stack up to max of 18%. But the shield, they didn't say how much it stacks. So I bet it's infinite every time you can cast it. You can get even more shields if the shields are st uh, st still there. So 18% of her max HP, which is absolutely good. If you, uh, this is, we're talking about augment one. So we get her to augment six, which all of us will do as free to play myself. I have all my team to augment six. Even three of them are at augment seven. So at the start of the battle, each inspiration, damage reduction 5%. For three rounds it goes up to 30 percent damage reduction you remove 30 percent of the damage that you take by 30 percent absolutely crazy defensive uh functionality and five percent uh, the shields it means every time she gonna cast or she uh, gonna get the inspiration and she's gonna help your uh, allies this five percent will remove and get back or get removed get back you can play a full lineup of shields with chiraha with vivi with pam pam and play her play levia and one carry i will be talking about the carry that is the most one that will be helpful and she will help them with the ultimate skill, which is Aiken. If you're playing Aiken, Aiken is an AOE damage dealer that deals even through damage on her own. Plus with this, you buff her and she deals AOE damage to everybody because she hits AOE. She gains rage at the start of the battle. This one can give her rage. If you play somebody else, just like uh, Vivi, like Audrey on your lineup, they will give rage as well on the lineup. So you can stack that rage on her. If you're playing also uh, Holy Grail and uh, Aiken at the start of the battle or in the front row on, uh, on your lineup, she can gain even more rage. So she will continuously deal AOE damage. And this AOE damage will have true damage on her own plus this attack and if you have Levia also you're gonna buff the attack of Aiken and Dorothy. Dorothy every time you buff her attack the, uh, the total uh, true damage that you're gonna deal against the enemies will be absolutely spectacular. This is an insane unit in my eyes as a free to play. If I'm free to play I'm gonna pull her get one copy of her at least. The more that you get copies of her as free to play or low spender the more that you have uh, ways to contest and play nebulous nightmares and other events to keep your lining, uh, lineup surviving. Even if you're playing Chiroha with her she will protect her. You go drop to below 50% HP it gets you back up to 60%. She gives you the shield everybody is happy. She, give, she gives everything. She buff you with attack make you deal through damage. Uh, reduces damage taking, gives you shields and give you rage. Absolutely a perfect all in all support. One of the best supports in the game. Maybe she's the second or the first best support in the game. Now let's go and talk about her arms. And the pre previous video, I said her arms are not that necessary and not the best arms in the game. And we'll, we'll be explaining why. Now her arms, her arms is here. It's called Rave, which is absolutely 
understandable with her party skills and because she's a singer so what does it have so for every six inspiration consumed there is a 50% chance to restore two rage triggering at most once per round so once per round you can do that and it gives two rage restoring two rage 50% res triggering uh, restoring rage and triggering at most one per round it doesn't say to restore rage to random enemies or random allies my bad so this is probably for her for herself she re uh, she uh, restores two rage for herself and it's a 50% now if you get her to three uh, uh, three stars i think yeah three stars so, uh, at the start of the battle increases Dorothy damage reduction by 20% for the entire battle. Damage reduction upon herself, she will be so tanky. So it means if you want to get her to that point that you want her to survive almost every time, you're going to get that 20% plus her passive that gives her 30% if you maxed her with stars or if you got her argument augmentation to level 6. It needs to level 6, it will get the 30%. With this, it's 50% damage reduction. 50% of the damage that you're gonna take, she's gonna reduce it if she has this at 3 stars. Now, of course, if you get it to 5 stars, it will be 30%. It means 10% 10 10 more. I don't recommend get her getting her to uh, 5 stars on her weapon. If you're uh, gonna get her to 3 stars, that would be awesome. 3 stars is what I recommend. It's not a must-have because her rage you can play other units that will give you rage and synergizes well with her but if you're gonna get the weapon at least try to get it uh one time and having her weapon is boosting her stats her attack her passives everything don't forget we're gonna get her prototype to level three at level three i think her prototype where is it at level three it means two stars it will get her 30 percent a chance to restore two rage which is the one star that we have on her where is it so at one star she's gonna uh, restore 50% to restore to rage. It means it's better to have the SSR better than having the SR. And yeah, that was it for Dorothy. Again, Dorothy, if you're gonna go to the complex, to the leisure, as I uh, showed you in the previous video, uh, there's a lot of lag. So if we go here, I guess, she's here and she buffs, uh, I think, Dominica and Dominica is not yet in the game. So it doesn't buff herself. She doesn't have a passive from the leisure but uh, everything is good with her if you build her up on attack set she gonna uh, buff her attack and you deal extra through damage to the lineups if you build her on hp she's gonna get even a thicker shield to the lineup and protecting everybody and her best teammates are levia one and aiken two aiken will deal aoe damage and she will get buffed by true damage of course with the true damage that she has she hits double tap which is absolutely crazy now, I would say Dorothy goes with every single lineup, every meta in the game. It doesn't matter because of the true damage that she gives, the energy that she gives, the buffs that she gives. She is an absolutely incra crazy unit. She's a surviving unit that helps your team to survive and protective. And she's a buffing unit that helps your team increase the damage output. She's a must-have. I repeat for the last time, she's a must-have. If her banner drops, she's a priority go and summon for her and yeah that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace